Yo, these pieces of shit. Lopinia. Yo, Cassidy. I did Mexican Monday a bunch of days ago, and y'all still haven't paid me, man. I have, Bones has not been around. He'll be around at the meeting today. Yeah, so what, motherfucker? You the under sheriff? You, I know you got cosmetic. I want to speak to him, bro. You want to speak to him? Yeah, I want to speak to him. Hey, yo, Cass, let me. Uh, can, can I speak to you about something? I want to pick your brain on something. Yeah, sure. Oh, bro, like leeches. Right, so I was watching the news yesterday, man. I had my TV on and I was kicking back, you know, uh -huh. drinking a, a Coca Cola and all that. Uh -huh. And I saw, I saw a new, on, on the news, I saw this dude screaming on, on, in like a sheriff's car talking about if you bump a car into the water, they finna shoot or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I want to like just see what, you know, I saw it on on channel one. What's going on with that? Yeah, that's going to happen. Man, let me pick your brain on that, though. Let, let me see okay. where you're coming yeah, from. Sure. Like, why? Uh huh. Okay, as a police officer. Okay, if somebody bumps your car in the water, why would you shoot? Uh, you're immobilizing us, and you're putting us in a dangerous situation. Hold on, hold on now. Don't say you guys. I water. saw this on the news. I saw this on oh, sorry, the news. Sorry, sorry. By not by people knocking us into the water, you're immobilizing us and putting us in a very dangerous situation. When you get knocked into a car, into a la like into the water, I mean, it's not just as simple as just get out and swim, and you'll be fine every time. Really. It's not that simple. No, we had people drown the other day, yesterday, actually. Listen, let me tell you this. Let me ask you this question. Do you think somebody mm -hmm. should be a police officer if they don't know how to swim? No, I no, I think you should probably know how to swim. Yeah, you should probably know how to swim, right? So if a yeah, police officer I mean, there was a water, blind guy hired for a bit. Okay, but I'm just saying, right, because I saw on the news the argument you was making. You was like... Yeah, but like, what's well, somebody drowned? It's like you shouldn't be a police officer if you don't know how to swim. Because like, if you but a it's not officer, just about swimming, brother. You got to get out of your car. What if you get trapped in so your car? You get trapped in your car. Oh, so that's what we get we're trapped doing under something. Oh, I see. So you're saying like you get trapped in a car and then like they might die, so you shoot people in the head type shit, brother. If people are pushing us into the ocean, like, what do you think is going to happen? Peanut? Oh, like, we're, listen, we're, I'm going to tell you this. If I was a we're going to play bumper cars? Like, what? What? Yeah, I mean, if I was a cop and motherfuckers ramming me into the water, you know what I would do? I First of all, your cars are stronger. I would ram them into the water, and then I will get somebody to get on a fucking boat, and I would sure, arrest but, the fuck out of we, Yeah, sure, but there's also, like, a little bit of different standards, man. Like I, you might say, you might say, no, it doesn't happen, but it absolutely does. When we're like sitting there and we're getting rammed, at it, people are driving in, going a hundred miles an hour, and launching us into the fucking air, and we can't do that. And if we Hold do on, do that, about, you know it's going to be a problem. Are you? Yeah, but Cassidy, you say, listen, I, I, I fuck with you, Cassidy, and I think you one of the better officers. But you being hypocritical because you say, what are we going to do? Play bumper cars? Listen, I'm speaking from experience. You know, I've been arrested many times, and I can tell you right now, there's a lot of cops that do bumper cars, even with pits or just in general. Pit, they fail. Pit again, they fail. Pit again, they fail. Pit again, rapid fire pit, full auto pit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, but I so, don't agree with that either. I mean, like if I see that, I gotta it, shut but, that shit down. But it still happens though. You know what I'm saying? It still happens. Sure, to this but day. that doesn't mean it should though. Like it, it, it's happening, but it shouldn't be happening, and it should be adjusted if it's seen. It's not like. It's happening, and I have something against it, but we just allow it to happen. Like, no, it is being acted upon if it's seen. Actually, you know what's crazy, by the way? I don't know if you heard about this, but the other day, you know who Jack is from uh, LSPD? Yeah. So he basically, we, you know that dirt jump by the the one by the airport, like the path by Bay's Bank Arena? You know that little dirt jump? Yeah. You know I think so. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, so we, I, I already got arrested for this, so it don't matter. Actually, wait, no. Hold on. I ran. <clears throat> Never mind. Anyways, I went up that jump, okay, going like 60, and then Jack mm -hmm. came from behind me, and he hit me from the back going 90. So he hit me from the back going 90 while we was trying to go up the dirt path, sent us into the air, we landed and blew up. You see what I'm saying? And as soon as we blew up, we was arrested. We was fucked. Because he ran, because he ran us from the back and made us literally fly in the air. We blew up because of it. Yeah, but that's not okay. Get, like that's not okay. I know that's all. not. No, no, but it is okay. You know, you know why it's okay? We went to court Hello. over that. Cassidy, we went to court over that, and the judge sided with Jack and said what he did was okay. No, was it civil court or was it? No, it was a criminal court. Yeah, criminal court. Of course not, because that that's what he, what Jack did there would be considered negligent. 
were excessive. No, but wouldn't that excessive right? force? Yeah, but wouldn't excessive yes. force make it a fruit of the poisonous tree? No, like fruit of the poisonous tree would come from having your your rights broken, which would be like unlawful search or something like that, right? So, so you said what that Jack did was excessive force, which isn't a rights violation. It's him being a fucking moron and being excessive. And that would be a civil suit, and you would sue him for like money. So, it's not all right. A- so, all right. so let's say, all right, all right. let's say, I decide to like, you know, what I'm saying, I break the law, like I break like a traffic law, and then a cop mm-hmm. tries to give me a ticket, and I run off foot. Okay, I run off mm-hmm. foot, and then the cop shoots me in the back of the head. That'd be excessive mm-hmm. force, no? Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, and they would be still, fired immediately. And he, okay, well, I mean, but could they arrest me for that? Even though he used uh, excessive would force, still, yes, yes. Technically, yes. Oh, all right. Oh, all right, dude. All right. All right. All right. Sounds good, Captain. I mean, that's just how the... That's like how the justice... Like, that's not a cop. That's a, the justice system thing. So, that's just... That's just fire. I mean, but that's... I mean, that's how it works everywhere. It literally... That would be a civil suit because... So, you were still to be arrested because you committed a crime, right? Uh, the way that they apprehended you was extremely excessive. I'm saying in the situation where, say, you were shot in the back while running yeah. from a traffic ticket. The the way they apprehended you was extremely excessive. The officer would almost certainly be charged criminally, so they would probably be charged with attempted murder. They would be fired, but then you would also sue them civilly, but you would still get arrested. Because technically, you are in police custody. We're not just going to let somebody go that we have that committed so a crime. Yeah, okay. So basically, if y'all do some like illegal shit to get me arrested, it don't matter because I'm going to still be arrested. Is what you're saying. If you committed a crime and yeah, if I commit a crime you were and arrested... Then, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying if yes. I commit a crime and then a cop does something illegally to catch me, I'm still fucked because I'm arrested. You're still arrested, yes, but you would sue them civilly and then obviously whatever came from yeah but you don't see how that could be like really easily abused you see what i'm saying like they could, uh, a cop could just always use excessive force not get fired and then just i mean they the would they over. would absolutely they would 100 percent. That, that would not there was well, nothing happened to jack fired. the higher-ups was there they, they saw it happen and, and they could they congratulated him they saw what he did and nothing happened i mean it's definitely not a congratulatory matter i mean he if people he are continuously he, he using yeah, because, I mean, did he admit to doing it on purpose? Oh, he didn't say he did it on purpose, but he said that he ran me, ran me from the back, sent me flying in the air, and I blew up because of it. Yeah, I mean, again, I, it's different if it's malicious or if it's not, right? Uh, even if it isn't malicious, like, he, you know, they can still be looked over for, like, you know, disciplinary action within the police department uh, just because of, like, let's say, like, incompetence, right? Mm. Or negligence. Mm. Incompetence, yeah. But, uh, but if somebody was using excessive force conti- on a continuous basis to apprehend criminals, they would 100% be fired. Does it? Would, what would you say? Sorry, my bad. I mean, if you think that people need to report shit, bro, it's as simple as that. People need to go to the and come to somebody within the PD or go to the marshals if there's genuine issues. Otherwise, there's no way to know. I mean that sincerely. And you have to also just accept the fact that just because something is told doesn't mean that we're going to be able to prove it, too. Like, sometimes it takes a lot of different situations or evidence to be able to come to a conclusion. Like, we can't just take word of mouth of people, right? We need to do an investigation. I do. What, what if I send you a clip? No. <laughs> Hold on now. I will listen. Hey, Cassie, I appreciate the. the co- <laughs> I wait. I appreciate the conversation, Cat. I appreciate yeah, you letting me prick your brain, dude. All right. Yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on. Do I got a warrant? Uh, I cannot confirm nor deny I can that see, I can see it at the courthouse. Just tell me if I have but a warrant. But you should go to the courthouse and oh, yo, check that God. out, man. Well, so you can set me up over there and wait for me to... I'm not going to set... No, I'm not doing... I wouldn't... I haven't going to do... You take it easy. Later, I'll let it, 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 it.